Cesar Medina was a young evangelical preacher. He was only 16. On Tuesday, he was on his way to church when he was hit by a bullet and killed during protests. I will never see him again. He was respectful, never hurt anyone. He went out and they brought him back dead. Thousands gathered to pay their respects to those who died during Monday's protests against the mining project. In the northern town of Selendin, there is pain and anger. We will never forget the blood spilled, they chanted. <laughs> Most people here believe police shot and killed five people. The violence also left several wounded, including two policemen. On Tuesday, the government declared a state of emergency in three northern provinces. The people are angry. On Friday, they confronted police, calling them murderers. To find the state of emergency, the people of Selendin have turned the funeral into yet another protest against the government and especially against President Ollanta Humala. They're upset at the president because he had promised to save two lakes that will be drained to make way for a gold and copper mining project. They believe Umala turned his back on them by giving a green light to the so-called Conga project. Now they say they're on indefinite general strike. But in the capital, Cajamarca, despite the concern, things seem to be normal. I think that to resolve this problem there needs to be dialogue. It's useless to have extreme positions. The government has designated a bishop to mediate between the central and regional governments. But the regional president doesn't believe mediation will work. The cabinet is in a crisis. Who can come here? I don't know. I hope the government comes. Every delegation that has come to negotiate has never met me. They've come saying they have the solution and are resolving the problem. It's too late for Cesar and other victims. But his mother, Maximilia, hopes those problems get resolved soon so that others don't have to go through what her family's been through. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Celendin, Perú.